Now we're going to have a quick look at something that we call conditional probability. Now, conditional probability um, tends to sort of present itself when a problem is given you that says something like this. So we have a bag with seven blue and three red cubes. A cube is taken out of, uh, of the bag at random and set at one side. Now that, that's the sort of language, or you might, you might see the phrase, is not replaced. So, okay, so normally in a, in a standard sort of probability question, and this would be our standard question, it would be a case of saying, I take out a cube and I put it back in the bag. So in other words, for my second event, I've got exactly the same number of cubes in the bag that I started with. And, and that's how it would look. If we worked our probability tree, those would be our outcomes, those are our probabilities. Now, look what happens when we get to what's called conditional. Remember the phrase, it's not replaced or it's set aside. Something like that is going to alert us that we've got a slightly different problem on our hands. Now, let's just say we took this, and so I said, right, here's my, here's my bag of cubes. So we start off in exactly the same way. I take the first one out, but this time... I set the cube at one side. So the question I'm going to say is, when I come to do my second event, first of all, how many cubes have we got in the bag? Well, we've now got nine, haven't we? Because we've taken one out. If it was a blue, if it was a blue um, cube, of course, we'd only have six ninths probability, wouldn't we, of getting a, a blue cube? The red in, in, would be unchanged, so we know we've got three, so that would be three over nine. Can you see how this works? Let's just say uh, on my first event, it was a red cube that I took out. Remember, I put it one side. The question is, how many cubes? Well, it's the same. I've only got nine now, haven't I, for my second event. So if it was a blue, it would be I'd still have seven in the bag. And if it was red, I'd only have, oops, I'd only have two in the bag. Now, can you see the difference? When we compare the second event to what it looks like when the cube is put back. Can you see that subtle difference? This is called conditional. And then we work the outcomes out in exactly the same way. Let me just do a, a couple just to demonstrate the difference. So this time, to get a blue and blue, it would actually be 42 out of 100. Getting a blue and red, we would have, uh, uh, sorry, 20, 42 out of 90. Getting a blue and red would be 21 out of 90, and so on. Okay, and notice the difference between standard probability trees and conditional probability trees. The big difference is when we put something at one side, that has to be reflected in our second or, or even third event. Okay, that's it.